Okay, we're back. It's been about 10 minutes. I think this should probably be good enough. Looks good. Need to trim some of this off. Well, get a razor blade and trim it up a little better. Try not to cut into the unidirection cloth. There we go. That's good enough. Stick these ends down a little. CA to hold it in place. I think one more. There we go. Okay, now <clears throat> this is Kevlar thread, you can usually get it at the fly tying section of your local fishing supply place.
there. That'll be good. Cut that end off. Stick our plastic back on here. Just so our carbon fiber doesn't slip around the edge there. Okay. Wait for that to cure. You may recall that earlier I had said that I needed to, that I my original goal for building this landing gear was to make a better landing gear and also to make it more scale-like. If we refer to the photo of a full-scale Yak-54 airplane, you'll notice that it, the landing gear actually has a fairing around the top of the landing gear strut that has the, where it gets wider. So what I did was I just made a little mold here and I'm going to add that material now. You also might have observed earlier that this landing gear was a little bit flexible. When I originally laid up the gear, I, I only used four layers of unirectional cloth in here. And for an airplane that weighs six pounds, which is about what my yak weighs, it really takes six to eight layers to, to make it the right stiffness. All the spring will actually be in this area. These legs won't, won't really flex much at all. Uh, in operation. So what I did was I added a couple pieces of Dollar Tree foam board to the sides here. Those will actually stay on there and get contoured for the fairing. Then I added another piece on my little mold board here so that I can I can uh, form, in other words, make the landing gear wider right here. So I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is lay up four layers of unidirectional in here just like this right in this area right here and then I'll lay in a couple more layers of unidirectional clear up the sides of the legs here and tie it all into the legs so let's do that now so I've got my resin already mixed looks good it's the regular uh, laminating resin that we used earlier when we made the original laminate so first I need a little piece of material here. This is actually four layers. Put some on here. That'd be enough. There we go. Should be good this in here a little more resin there covered this mold board in this uh, part here with uh, packing tape so this wouldn't stick to it. Make sure all the air is out of there. Take another piece of cloth here. Wet this out. Okay. You also noticed that I jigged this up with a uh, 
put this board across here. First we'll get this nice and wet. And that's because uh, I wanted this to stay nice and rigid while I was doing this. Because this is our last chance to get everything lined up properly. So I went to extra, extra care to make sure that uh, all of the first no. okay now I'll lay this in here get it positioned here I'm just going to fold this back like that. That side's actually just about right. And the back here, fold it in again. There. I made a little block here that I covered with packing tape. Good. There we go. Now we'll clamp that up to dry. Okay, we've reached a milestone in our landing gear construction here. It's uh, structurally the landing gear is completed. It's got the right amount of springiness now appears to anyway. It seems to work just about perfect. When I put about 10 pounds of pressure on it, I get just about the right amount of spring to it. Perfect. So now, from here on, all I'm really doing is dressing it up a little bit. Also lightening it a little. And when I laid the, carbon, the unidirectional carbon fiber in here yesterday, probably noticed that we got kind of thick. In fact, if you look at the profile here, you can see it's kind of thick right in here. And that's not structurally necessary. We need the carbon fiber to tie into this leg, but this leg is actually plenty strong enough. It's, it's stiffer than it'll ever need to be. So we actually, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually t carefully hand sand a bunch of this material out and kind of taper it into the leg here. I've already done it on this side so you can see how that looks. I've got this all sanded smooth and tapered in. And then I will also be, be putting some more foam in here, in this area here, and a little more foam here, and sanding this into the shape of the fairing on the, like on the full-size airplane. And a little shaping, a little sanding, a little dress up, clean it up a little bit, and it'll be ready to go. Then it'll be time to install it on the airplane. So anyway, let me finish the sanding and finish uh, this in here and then I'll show you the last step we're going to do which is going to be to wrap some uh, bi-directional carbon fiber over this to tie it all together. Alright, we've got the uh, landing gear all uh, sanded and shaped. 
checked out. I filled with the, uh, I took the little space here and filled it with foam and a little lightweight filler. Same over here. Now we need to put a, put a wrap all the way from the back around the front of bi-directional. This cloth is cut so that the, the, uh, it's on the bias so that the, the strands of fiber run, run in this direction at 45 degrees to the long axis of the piece. So, let mix up some resin. Get this uh, laid on here. Wrap this all the way around here. Perfect. There. Work a few of the wrinkles out here. Layer bubbles out. Beautiful. I'll wait for that to cure.